Hi guys, it's Christmas morning. I had a beautiful Christmas Eve dinner with a good, some good friends and I came home and I have something in my head I have to get on the canvas. Welcome to my channel, Michelle from Grateful Creations. Hope your holidays are extra special. And we are going to do a ring pour, straight pour. Then we're going to inject it with a cloud mix. Something kind of, something new to me. I don't know if anybody else has done it before, but I had this in my head and I just had to do it. So our colors tonight, Decart Americana 20, I'm sorry, this is Extreme Sheen, 24 karat gold, mixed with a little bit of Conacridone Nickel Azo Gold, Hebio Iridescent Green Blue, this is Charvin in Shadow. It's a really rich, creamy color. I worked a little <laughs> kind of hard on my uh, consistencies here. This is a um, mixture of three different colors. It is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, Permanent Violet Blue. And it's also um, Pebio, Pebio Iridescent Violet Blue. So these three colors give it kind of a, almost like a, I can't even explain it. It looks like a hot rod color. <laughs> and my last color here is a mixture also of Charvin Ocean mixed with Artist Loft Cobalt Metallic Blue. And what else do we have in here? We have did I put it? Those are the colors. <laughs> when, I, when I do remember, I'll make sure I put it in the description. So we're gonna layer our cup. This is a 20 by 24 canvas. So I believe we need like 21 ounces of paint. We've got more than enough paint and then we're gonna be injecting it with the cloud, cloud mix underneath. So the, what are we gonna start with? We're gonna start with, I tried doing this yesterday with a, a dirty pour and I don't know I'm gonna put a lot of this in the center because I really want that to be the last color out and we can go with I like these two colors try to make like a gradient This is Graham Liquitex Professional Green Gold mixed with Liquitex Professional Brilliant Yellow Green. I forgot about that one. So let's go backwards now. I messed up the colors. Oh well, no biggie. Um, and what do we want on our edges? A little bit of gold in the center. Here we go. We want to get some um, some pearls in there, hopefully, for cells. That's cool. <laughs> wow. That is really cool. 
I had no idea. I like the purple next to the gold and I love that center. Um, it's gonna be kind of, this is gonna be like a ring pour cloud rack. That's what I'm gonna call it, ring pour cloud rack. So I'm gonna get some of these bubbles out. Looks like the green took over a little bit. I didn't want, well, we won't know until we start stretching it. So I'm gonna put a little bit, definitely around the corners. I want my corners covered. Because so once we start injecting this, it's gonna spread out quite a bit, hopefully. So how do we wanna do this? I am going to start under here. I'm going to go into the center. Gosh, I hope this is um my cloud mix is thin enough but don't want I thickened it up from yesterday because it was too thin and it went all over the place I don't like this here okay better So we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. I kinda like that center, so I don't wanna mess it up too much. But I do wanna get quite a bit of the cloud mix underneath. See how it's already spreading out? This is gonna look cool if I don't mess, up, mess it up too much. Sometimes you have to know when to say when. Um, I think we all have that problem a little bit. And, um, just to leave it alone. Um, I tend to overwork my, my uh, pieces at times and regret it later. And that is not the effect that we want. So, let me pour some of this around. Oh. I have more, I do have more white. This I have to thin out a bit, but I don't want to thin the whole thing out because look at that. I can use that for another pour. Let's grab the other cup. Poured half of it in there. Where's my water bottle? There it is. I want to make this a too long a video. So I hope everybody got. Uh, Everybody was nice and not naughty. Well, if you want them to be naughty, I guess it's okay. I think Santa takes that into consideration, considering the year we've had. <laughs> and uh, you got everything you want from Santa. Now, this cloud mix should produce some pearls on the sides. But it does depend on how thick the paints are. Um, if they're too thick, they won't produce pearls. This is producing some really nice cells. Let's give it a torch. It's gonna look like kind of some kind of underwater sea creature, sea. Uh, Scene. See scene? It's haven. Let's call love. Uh, let's call Webster on that one. There we go. Just spreading it around. Probably gonna fast forward this for you guys.
interesting to see how they dry that corner over there. I want to try and get it off because it looks like I put my finger in it. I can always put some um, paint on there, but I can stretch these cells out too. I don't want to stretch them out so they get too wonky though. Wonky, wonky. Sometimes wonky cells are kind of fun. They're, um, they have a little personality of their own. There's the weight of the paint. There it is. It's going to go down, take some of that green gold off, maybe. It's a very interesting color combination. <laughs> yeah, it's going. Come on, baby. Go fix mama's mess. And there she goes. Perfect. I had a very challenging day today. There was, I woke up to raccoon poop on my pool float. And my car battery died again. Put a new one in yesterday. And it turns out, I thought it was the brake light switch. Nope. It's the alternator. <laughs> so I'll be here all weekend long because my car is in the shop until Monday. Um, which I don't mind spending time back here at all. You know, I'm really loving this. I'm loving, there's a background here. I mean, um, these cells are popping through. That is unbelievable. This I stretched out maybe too much. And then we'll come back a little bit. Make it look a little more organic. Um, but that purple next to, I've got to do that color next to each other again. The purple next to the, um, the aqua. So, focal points. You got this. You got this. And I love that center. So I think I'm, I'm done, guys. Merry Christmas. And this will probably develop. So I'm going to walk away. Take the gloves off, Michelle, and walk away. <laughs> I'm gonna fix my corners. I don't even need to fix my corners. They're all covered. And um, I'm gonna come back and give you a close up once it's developed a little bit more, okay? So, see you in a bit. Well guys, here it is. The wind's starting to kick up real bad out there. We're supposed to get a cold front in. So I took a toothpick and um, altered these cells a little bit. And that one too. The colors, I mean, look at that. That is so beautiful. I hope this dries nice. Oh, look at that big fat gold cell that just popped up. I wasn't there just a minute ago. This might look different in the morning too, I have no idea. But I'm pretty happy. See how the, it's, trans, it's translucent there. I've got multicolored cells. And I love, love, love this. It's like there's a turquoise background with a bunch of rocks on top of it. And here's where I mixed the um, Pebeo green blue next to the purple that I made up. And it looks electrifying. The, um, it doesn't really give it too much justice on the camera here, but take my word for it. And look at that. Ooh, more cells coming up. Maybe the wind is pulling them up, who knows? Um, probably. 
And then there's that center. I'm really happy with the center. So, this is my Christmas pour. I'm loving it. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>